name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has been targeted. Um, as you can see, I'm deteriorating fairly rapidly, aging rapidly due to the stress and repeated uh, exposure to whatever these uh, rapidly growing uh, virulent creatures are that have been thrust into our lives over and over, and uh, with their mites or, you know, some crazy Morgellons thing or a carrier of something or whatever, you know, the research I've been doing leads me to believe that it's a multiple uh, species, uh, weaponized insect, whatever you want to call them, creature kind of thing, and that uh, these things live in you, in your skin, the mites live in you, and they crawl out, they, they lay their eggs and their feces, the eggs hatch, the eggs crawl out, they crawl back in, they do their thing, they crawl out, they have sex inside, they crawl out, go back in, make more nests, and so your body has all these nests on them, and that even if you burn all your stuff and walk away and shower, and the water has to be over 141 degrees, and most stuff doesn't kill them, pyrethrins seem to do very little, and, uh, you know, anyway, that, that unless you get rid of these things from your body, that uh, you never get rid of it. Um, and, you know, I have no idea how many years I've had this crap living in me, um, because of the, the mind-screwing MK Ultra style covert druggings and whatnot. Uh, there was quite a long time where I just pretended it wasn't real. I told myself it was some kind of electromagnetic, you know, whatever, bunch of crap, when in fact there's something inside of me killing me. And with the thing allows for all this other technological stuff, uh, you know, I have my opinions. I do want to say that uh, in, in some ways I'm sorry for spreading any information that is not fact because I don't want to wrongly influence people. It's very important that you understand that uh, constant reinforcement of negative thinking, scenarios, uh, conspiracy theory type uh, stuff um, changes your thinking, changes the, the neurological wiring of your brain, it's neurocognitive behavioral uh, programming, I guess, with a uh, cognitive dissonance as a, as a motivator, an emotional motivator. Um, <clears throat> but it's very important that, that anyone like myself, who is bombarded with uh, continual negative, you know, evil, horror, find a way to remain positive in the face of such awful adversity. And it's extremely difficult for me, personally, because my affective experience, my emotional experience, has, has always been overwhelming for me. Um, possibly because it contains some empathic, uh, whatever you want to call it. And I've always felt other people's emotions too. Um, I don't know if I've told this story before, but I was once was in therapy for a while and I was telling him about how when I was a child I could look at people and I believed that I knew all these things about them. Or, how they felt about themselves and their lives, how many kids they had, where they went to school, what they did for a living, all this information. He said, you couldn't possibly have known that. And I said, well, wow. and the phone rings and the doctor picks up the phone and he says, hello? Yes? Okay. I'll call you later, bye. And I said, uh, the person on the phone was someone that you care about deeply 
someone that you love and that probably loves you, uh, quite possibly your wife, your fiance, or your girlfriend. And he said, what? How, how could you possibly know that? I said, well, it's obvious. Your uh, pupils dilated when you said hello. Um, your microfacial expressions showed uh, feelings of love and, and I felt uh, you know I don't know I just knew and I said, mm. so you know I don't know I don't know what to think um, I've been praying a lot for guidance and strength and uh, I'm praying for others realized that my entire life, apart from a few moments, has been worrying about me, 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 and, and you know, doing service for other people was not my primary motivation, and, you know, I was reading this book, and it was saying that, that you know, a, a life focused on, on selfless giving and assistance to others, and even those of a lower moral character, the lowest of the low or whatnot, you know, is, is the work that, that Christ was doing, you know, he came here for all of us, and, um, you know, I'm just sort of beginning to realize these things, and as I look over my life with a very realistic prayerful, you know, and, uh, you know, me, 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 I want to change <laughs> that, you know, she recommends that you, you keep all your problems to yourself and address them only to Yeshua and, and try to maintain the most outwardly sunny, cheerful and, and Christ-like attitude of, of love and compassion and, and the spirit of Yeshua and, and that that spirit will fill you eventually, it will become your nature and that, you know, as best you can by doing this, as best you can, uh, you will be helping others by your cheerful, positive, reassuring and uplifting uh, attitude and I cry and cry and cry and beg and pray and try because I'm so terrified that that God you know, that, 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 I, that He doesn't love me or that I'm not worthy of. You know, I don't want to spend eternity in punishment. That's it's too horrible for anyone, even the most horrid, evil, murderous people, I cannot, I cannot wish that on anyone because I wouldn't want it for myself. And, you know, I know it's not up to me, it's, it's up to God, but, you know, and then it's like these people that say, oh, don't worry, you're born again, you believe in Christ, you got no problem, you're, you'll be fine, go to heaven, and I'm like, wait a minute, you know, I'm walking around praying, and I'm saying, you know, bless this poor man, and help him, and blah, 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 and I realize, wait a minute, I'm supposed to help him, I'm supposed to bless him, that this is one of the ways God works through us, through our interaction with one another, and allowing that spirit to flourish in us and I don't know I, I, you know there's a, a part of me that's like embarrassed to be speaking about this and a part of me that has to speak about it and, you know it's a shame that it took you know this <laughs> nearness to death to realize these things and I still need so very much, and I'm sorry for needing so much, but I'm trying to change myself, and God bless you all.